Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for April 16th through the 30th, 2023. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I am back to doing the 12 individual readings. Thank you for being flexible with me on the last couple readings, especially my last video. I know the audio was not that good and there was a lot of distractions. So hopefully you were able to take, you know, something away from that message that resonated with you. Um, we're also fully in eclipse season now. So we have the first total solar eclipse at the new moon in Aries, which will be on April 19th. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world and we do schedule according to your time zone. The link below to my website has all the information available for you, as well as a 15% discount off your very first session or as a first time client with me. So you can take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Um, otherwise, we are going to get into the readings. Hello, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Jupiter or Venus, any placement of Taurus. This again is for April 16th through the 30th. Let's get you guys an overall energy, and then we'll get the other cards out. Whoop, there it is. All right, you've got the Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. This is really a beautiful message, Taurus, because I feel like this gives you permission, permission to come out of your mind and down into your heart. And when you're in your heart space, you're really going to see all the little blessings and all the little beauty um, around you, the little beautiful things about life around you that maybe we miss or we pass up because we're just not aware or we're thinking about, you know, tomorrow or what we have to do or what we did yesterday and we're not in the present moment. So this message for you, especially for the last couple weeks of April, is asking you to be in the present moment. That is where you are going to feel more love, you're going to feel more present and connected within yourself, and that in turn is going to allow you to be more connected to those around you, okay, which is a beautiful exchange. So again, your overall energy is the nightingale spirit. Love is all around. I love that for you guys. Okay, let's get the other cards out. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just do a little bit here. Taurus, April 16th through Ooh, there it is. All right, second row is your specific person. Those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about their energy? All right, that one jumped out. Third row is any clarifying messages for you. Ooh. Okay. Cards are out. First up, Taurus, we've got two of wands, the star card, and the hierophant. Wow, two major arcana cards. Those always bring growth and transformation. The two of wands here is a decision. So I do feel that there's something in your life that you're making a choice or a decision about. Um, it's interesting that the back is turned here to the star card and the hierophant. I feel both of those cards are quite spiritual cards. Um, the star card can be about kind of our, our true north or getting on our highest and best path. The hierophant can be uh, connecting in with our spirituality, our goals, our values for our life. Um, so the fact that you're trying to make this decision with the back turned here, I feel Taurus, this is a message um, and it could be similar to the overall energy, the love is all around message is in order to make this decision, you need to come out of the head and into the heart and into the soul and the spirit. That is where the decision uh, will come from for you know what you're trying to choose. And you're being guided here by your heart and by your soul. And um, this is really powerful because the mind will sometimes convince us that something else is right for us, but the heart and soul is like, no way, that is not in alignment. And so um, I feel there's just a really clear message here for you, Taurus, to before you make this decision, of course, you need the mind. So I'm not saying that the mind is a bad thing. Um, we do need to be logical about things. However, there's something here that is speaking from the heart, from the soul that is really important for you. And when you do that, it is going to get you more on your um, uh, highest and best path, your highest aligned path, and it's going to help open up this long-term 
kind of journey to your deepest values and desires that you wish and want out of life. And with you here holding the world in your hand, Taurus, I do feel like you have a lot of opportunity. So it's not like you're limited, but this is going to help you have more, um, excuse me, more fulfillment. Okay, that's what it is. When this decision is being anchored in your heart and soul energy, um, you're going to have a more fulfillment with whatever choice that is that you are making. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I've also got fire energy out here, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Aries. Okay, your specific person. What do we need to know about your specific person, Taurus? We've got Page of Swords, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. So I immediately see that your specific person has communicated with you that they want the happily ever after with you. They want forever. They want marriage. They want family. They want all the things. And the Page of Swords is the messenger. Um, but it's interesting with this Seven of Pentacles, there's something here needed with patience or the timing is off or it's like the seeds were planted and now there's this waiting period for the action phase to come in, which it looks as if it hasn't quite manifested yet or fully moved there. So this seven of pentacles, this kind of patience and waiting could be on your side or it could be on their side. But I do feel that the page of swords and the 10 of cups here, Taurus, is uh, showing that they have been clear with you of their feelings, of their desires, and what they want from you. Maybe this is that decision that you are being faced with in the first row here where you really do need to come down into your heart and soul to get that clarity. Um, but I would say your specific person does want you, Taurus. This connection is strong. They value you. They can see their life with you. Um, and it's quite a deep, strong connection. So I, I'm kind of feeling that the, the hesitancy is on your side. But again, this is a general reading, so it could be on their side. But if there is hesitancy on your side, remember, come down into your heart. What are you blocking? What are you resisting here? Um, what is there for you to see, especially? with the eclipses helping to highlight some of that for us. Okay, third and final row is bringing clarifying messages. Uh, okay, now I'm starting to see it. We've got three of swords, knight of pentacles, five of pentacles. So Taurus, first off, I'm seeing that you do recognize that, you know, some of your blocks or resistance maybe to this specific person or even a brand new person coming in for you has been from past pain or past hurt. Three of Swords is always about something from the past that has not been fully, fully resolved within us and we still um, feel that sting and we still hold that in ourselves, um, in our heart space. So if it's not easy for you to be in your heart space, maybe it's because you have these swords going through it and you, they need some attention, it needs some awareness from you. Um, because this um, pain in the heart is causing disconnect, okay? Five of Pentacles is about disconnect, spiritual disconnect, communication disconnect, physical disconnect, any kind of disconnect. But on the positive note, I do see you here, Taurus, as this Knight of Pentacles. So I see this as you facing some of this so that you can um, heal and work through these uh, things that cause disconnect. So I do see you with this offer, wanting to come forward, wanting to give it to somebody, and you needed to get there in your own time with your own understanding, which is really, really powerful. So. With that, I just want to say good job. Love is all around. That's your overall energy. And then you're here standing in your power saying, yeah, and I get to choose. So you get to choose, same as the two of wands energy here. And you are choosing, Taurus. You are choosing one, pent one pentacle to give as your gift, to give as your offer. So who is on the receiving end of that is what I would like to know because whoever's on the receiving end really wants this with you, Taurus, which is really beautiful. So we've got more earth, earth energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, we've got air coming in, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with extra emphasis on Aquarius. We've also got water, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer coming through. All right, let's see if there's any other messages for you. Ah, yes, 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 focus. 
Taurus, this is asking you to focus on the heart, kind of what has been coming through for most of your readings. So the focus is not in your mental energy. It's asking you to focus down into the heart, into the um, soul, into those more subtle messages and feelings, okay? Um, I'm strongly hearing that this is something you are going to feel, not something you are going to think, okay? And that is very, very important. Let's get you a spirit uh, animal out here and then we will wrap up. Beautiful. You've got the swan, Grace. You who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. Grace is felt in the heart space, Taurus. So many messages around you being in your heart energy. I love it. So you are protected with the swan spirit energy through the end of April. I think that's all that's coming through for you. I hope this resonates. Um, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, Jupiter, any placement of Taurus. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. They do make a difference for the channel, and I do respond to every comment as well. Uh, if you missed the intro, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have uh, clients all around the globe at this point, and we do schedule according to your time zone. The link below uh, to my website has all the information there available for you. You can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials page, uh, and also just learn about uh, the distance energy healing and what it can do for you, okay? Um, there's also a 15% discount off your very first session or as a first-time client with me. So you're absolutely uh, uh, available to take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Um, otherwise, Taurus, I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to April, and I will see you guys back here for the first half of May readings. Take care.